Hello everybody, we're back. We're back in the studio and we're going to talk about shooting with props today. Now, props can make your portrait or your pictures a little bit uh, more interesting. So I had today, I had a painter's theme. I figured we would just, I wanted to use this ladder, this old grungy ladder, paint can and a paintbrush as props. All right, as far as the setup today, um, what we did, I wanted to create like a painter-ish backdrop. So I used, I draped the sheet over one of the walls and kind of wrinkled it up so it should show a little bit of texture. Same again with, uh, I just put a plain white cloth backdrop on a stand and then just kind of wrinkled it up a little bit to give a texture. All right, for our lighting today, um, we have the key light up in octo aiming down and it's aiming down kind of in front. I don't want to hit it directly with the light, so it's going there. Our secondary light you can see there is shining to illuminate some of this to give some shadows here and to do some shadow fill on this side. This light is going to bounce off of here and hit there. This light is also going to light this background. So what I'm trying to do instead of lighting her face individually, I'm trying to light the space. There's a guy I follow on YouTube, he's a cinematographer, and he always says, um, you're lighting spaces, not faces. And sometimes I like to build my lighting out um, kind of in that way. That way I can get different looks from this side, because I know from our test shots that this side is going to be more shadowy than this side. So I'm going to do some high key stuff here where it's really bright and then I can go this way and it'll be a little bit more dramatic with some more shadows falling on her face and I don't have to change anything after that. So we can just from pivoting from here to here we can get two different looks without changing anything other than her position. All right, so the look we're going for today is kind of a high key editorial fashion-y type thing. That's why I've set up the little backdrops and you were using, you know, paint can, paintbrush, and this old ladder as props. Um, high key portraits are basically kind of like, you know, there's a lot of light, they're like white and it's bright and you know, should, should be sunny and fun. Low key portraits are the ones, I like the one of those two, but low key portraits are the ones where it's kind of dark and you know they're real dramatic and real moody with a lot of shadows and shadows. A lot of shadows and a lot of uh, you know mood and drama. So today's look's going to be high key. The way I've got the light set up though, I can pivot this way and add a little bit more mood, but it's still going to try to be you know kind of fun and whimsical. So we're going to take some shots and uh, see what comes out. One half power, so I've got them cranked up pretty good. So one half, one eighth. Now I can probably knock down the power a little bit if I move this closer. But again, I said I'm lighting the whole space and not 
just her, if it was just kind of a moody portrait, I'd have this light a lot closer. But since it's farther back, I'm gonna bump the power up. So that's the shoot. We did um, several like full body, kind of high key, whimsical, you know, Haley being extra type pictures, you know, kind of a fashion editorial type feel to it. And then I zoomed in on, uh, you know, in 85 and did some more of the more serious um, moody, still high key, still light, not a whole lot of shadow. Um, closer to her face with, you know, the serious expressions that I kind of like to do over all of it. But that was it. We're going to edit the pictures and we'll put them up right now. So, see you guys. Bye. Up on my